Welcome to the channel and today we'll be breaking down the sauce and this will make it two Benzino diss songs that we've broken down on AT Lifestyle and if you've missed the previous video, click the link that pops up at the top right corner now. As always, if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe and turn on notifications to never miss a video and let's dive right into it. First of all, the title The Source is mocking the name of The Source magazine, a magazine that Benzino was co-owner of at that time and Eminem here goes in on Benzino to expose shady practices of Benzino at the magazine at that time. Benzino, despite being half white, was using race to his advantage during the beef and this is something that's now known as playing the race card and this is how Eminem starts the verse. Coming up, it never matter what color you was If you could spit, then you could spit, that's it, that's what it was Eminem then briefly describes what it was like rapping as a no-name MC looking for a come up in the next bars and also touches on how it felt like to win and lose during rap battles way before the fame. Eminem adds that if you lost, you lost and you shake hands like a man and swallow it and also speaks about the effects of getting featured on the unsigned hype column of the Source magazine. Of course, a rapper on the come up will take anything they can get and getting featured on this column of the magazine was kind of a big deal for upcoming rappers and it's important to add that the likes of DMX and Biggie also got featured on this column before they got signed. The source when it started used to be respected and only the very best MCs were able to get free 4 or 5 mics. See this as a star rating, 5 mics meant 5 stars for an album but this was about to change because of corruption and Benzino was responsible for this. Notice how Eminem mentions legends and adds Benzino at the end of it. That's because Benzino abused his power at the magazine and threatened staff members that if his next album didn't get at least a 4 mic rating, people are going to get hurt and in Benzino's words, is going to start putting people in body bags if the album is not rated as high as albums from Nas, Jay-Z and Biggie. Since Benzino had such power, of course he was able to have a go at MCs he didn't like and rate their albums low and Eminem was one of his targets. Eminem also touches on this and how it affects those looking for a come up with unethical practices like this. Even Benzino admitted in an interview about how important the mic rating was to people around. People cared so much about this rating system. Careers could be made and destroyed at the time the magazine was at its peak for influence. But all this respect was pissed away when Benzino got involved with the rating system. In Eminem's opinion, even Dr. Dre's 2001 didn't get the rating it deserved because of Benzino's hate for him and since he was featured on the album in a couple of songs, 2001 was rated 4.5 mics and when other albums were able to get 4.5 mics that weren't as good as 2001, Eminem saw this as corruption although 2001 was later re-rated to 5 mics. Eminem also adds, you me out of my mic twice, I let it slide. And this was because both the Marshall Mathers LP and the Eminem show got 4 mic ratings and based on what 4 mics meant at that time, Eminem believed his albums deserved better. I mean, Eminem stated earlier in the verse how a 3.5 mic rating was like the lowest rappers were getting from the source at this time since Benzino made these ratings meaningless. Eminem was well aware that Benzino had something against him even before the beef started and looking at it in hindsight now, it was clearly because Eminem was white and on the song Say What You Say from the Eminem show, Eminem even stated that he's not expecting 5 mics from the source and on this song Eminem touches on that. Eminem also adds that Benzino's hate will likely extend to the latest signed artists on the shady records like 50 Cent and Obi Trice. Based on how average albums could now get 4.5 mic ratings on the source, which was something reserved for the very best hip hop albums in the past, Eminem speaks about how the magazine is losing its relevance and how all this connect back to Benzino gaining influence at the magazine as he became a co-owner. Eminem here is pointing out how Benzino is using the magazine's popularity and cultural reputation to promote his rap group Made Men, 
David Mason, that bar, is the white founder and owner of the source. Eminem here is stating that Benzino is sending threats at Mason staff members to control the magazine, and this was confirmed by former staff members that resigned because they were regularly intimidated by Benzino to publish positive content about made men. In the next bars, Eminem states that going back and forth with Benzino is pretty much wasting lead, which is used for pencils, but it's also a double meaning as lead is a slang for bullets. Benzino was always spotting braids at that time, so Eminem used this to refer to Benzino's head, admits he's keeping things simple, and mocking Benzino's ability to articulate, states this. Since Eminem had a go at his mother on a couple of songs, Benzino rapped about slapping Eminem's mom and stated he wouldn't respect her because Eminem doesn't, and Eminem responds to him on this by stating that Benzino shouldn't talk about something he knows nothing about. Eminem follows that with this. Of course, since the magazine was losing its relevance at that time, Eminem suggests that Benzino can go ahead and use him to save the magazine. It's also important to add that Eminem was the first white artist to grace the cover of the source. Since Benzino spoke about Eminem's relationship with his mother, Eminem gives a counter by stating how Benzino is trying to eat off his son by putting his son out there. Missed your boat in that bar is Eminem talking about how Benzino's hip hop career was a relative failure, and since he was getting old, he tried to put on his son so he could profit off the seven year old boy at that time. Eminem doesn't miss an opportunity, and in the next bars, Eminem pretty much shits on Benzino's achievements in hip hop, and based on the fact that Benzino was approaching 40 years old at that time, things weren't looking too good. Never gonna blow, bitch, you're just too old, no wonder you're sore now, Lord, are you bored now, I'm pushing 30, you're kicking 40's door down. At this time, Eminem had pretty much released three classic albums and was pretty much a legend whereas Benzino's greatest achievement was something that wasn't related to his hip-hop career. Co-owner of The Source magazine, his top hit song peaked at number 82 on the Hot 100 and top album peaked at number 65. That's a summary of Benzino's hip-hop chart milestones. Eminem adds insult to injury and states why Benzino will always see him on TV. Eminem states this because 3am was the time when BET will often show music videos from artists that weren't popular or too explicit for daytime TV, and since Benzino was still looking for a breakthrough at that time, his videos will often only get playtime at 3am in the morning. Eminem adds that he'll end up having the last laugh when this is all over, and refers to Aftermath as he states this. Eminem was signed on the Aftermath slash Interscope, and in the literal sense, Aftermath means the consequences or after effects of a significant, unpleasant event, and Eminem proceeds to add this. Eminem was at the peak of music popularity at this time, and Eminem, well aware of this fact, states that no matter how much he promotes Benzino with these diss tracks, Benzino will never benefit from it because he lacks the talent to capitalize on this free publicity. Benzino made his way up the source through intimidation and threats at owner David Mace, and there were several instances of Benzino bullying the owner to get his wish, and to add to the situation, Eminem states this. Locked in his own office is actually referring to an actual incident that involved Mays and other editorial staff locked in an office and intimidated with an Uzi on the table when a meeting was called by Benzino. This was all done to get deals and promotions for his made men group. Eminem states that Mays is brainwashed and bullied by a soft wannabe gangster in New York. Eminem was well aware that stooping this low and responding back to Benzino wasn't worth it. And if you believe MGK wasn't worth a response, responding to Benzino was lower based on the fact that MGK's career was relatively much more successful than Benzino's at that time. Bitch. 
Benzino claimed Eminem got fame because his magazine featured him on the page of Unsigned Hype. Eminem states that now Benzino owes him since Eminem at this point was the world star of the 21st century. A dying magazine was nothing compared to this free promotion Eminem was given at this time. Like I said before, check out our other breakdown for Nail in the Coffin at the end screen of this video and if you'd like to support the channel, consider donating at the link in the description. Thanks for watching, leave your thoughts below and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this.